now the holiday begins. Hasta la vista, baby. Shit, oh shit. Straight on the plane, first things first. Oh, we go down. Avatar, Nemo. Wow, there's some great films. I'm gonna be very content with this for the next eight hours. Uh, ta da. Wait, I don't get it. I don't get anything, I'm just here for a good time. It's not giving me Ivy. What? It was for free, so. I'll take it. Feels. Oh, stop, help. Let's just drop it. Oh, no. I can't believe it. I'm just watching Lord of the Rings. And me as this poor potato salad train. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm just gonna sit you red boy. We have touched down in Niagara. We've checked in to the hotel. I'm gonna give you a room tour, of course. Go do bathroom first. You walk into the bathroom. You've got this big shower. You've got this deep bath, which could fill a way you're in. You've got the his and hers, sinks, mirrors of the bathroom, and this is the view. You say, stop. It's just a, it's a hefty bath. <laughs> so we've got this massive bed, coffee area, Dining little bit again another a wheel. We've got a Wendy's right there. I've never had a Wendy's so I'm excited to try a Wendy's. Then we've got the lounge area, the telly and then That is Niagara Falls. You can see it better from here How is that Niagara Falls right there? Are you insane? That is a room tour and yeah, let the chaos in Canada begin Woohoo! So we've come to Hard Rock Cafe and I've never been here before, so I'm really excited to try it. The chips are really good. We're all trying to make lots of friends. So far we've made... None. None. <laughs> wow. Good morning. Wow. Looks cold, I'll be honest. We woke up at 4am. No, 3am. I can't remember. We woke up because obviously the jet lag, because for us that would have been like 8am or something. And then we managed to get to sleep again, and that was 7am, but I'm filming wide awake. Niagara Falls! But how big is that? That is crazy. Is that the main one? Or is that the main one? I have no idea. But this is a falls of Niagara. It's not Niagara on your story. <gasps> no, I've not. Yeah. I saw Niagara. Yes. Are we shocked by this news? Oh no, it's so embarrassing! Wait. Yeah, I know. Wait. Well, you gotta laugh. Laugh or you'll cry. You know what's mad? They're probably like nothing compared to our houses. They're also quirky and cute. I love that one. Oh, that's so nice. Whoa, that's huge. Wow. That is insane. That feels a hawk! That's so cool. This is because the downer line is... I'm doing really well. You're doing really well. I'm doing really well. So cool. For you folks that are now on the right side of the car, you can look down and see. This is pretty crazy, y'all. These are the most dangerous rapids in the world. I wouldn't go for a swim. I would. Woo! Explorer. We've come to like, I don't even know what we've come to. Oh my god, it's pterodactyl. I'm trying root beer for the first time. It smells like licorice. So good. It's just dandelion and burdock. We have this in the UK. I've never had dandelion and burdock before. Literally like liquor after nine of it up. Not bad, not great. Can I get a root beer, please? So I just said to Mills, look, Canadian goose, and she went, is that not a duck? It's just a big one. 
a Canadian duck. Yeah, I could jump over that puddle easy. Go on, man. <laughs> We're firmly in the pool. Where is she? That's over there. We're firmly in the pool. And it's a lot of fun. We've ordered some cocktails there from the bar. And we're having a swim. She's trying to make friends with those people over there. Really subtly. Can you see my background there? Do we put mermaids with me? <laughs> Meals did end up making friends with those pool people. I literally lost my phone for the entire time and had cocktails with, with Americans. I can't remember where we were exactly from. And to Canadian, French Canadians. We stayed way longer than we wanted to. We literally went like a half an hour swim and we were there for like three hours. Now tonight we are going up that tower. This one, that, that big ball there. I don't know why it's not focusing. That's good. That's really good camera that. Nice one. Hi. Hi, I've just showered in the shower and then I'm gonna fake tan so next time you see this I'm gonna be a bronze goddess. <laughs> Okay, we're in the revolving restaurant now. It's probably quite large because it's short. We've got some wine. We have some bread. We've got some bread. We've had bread. We've got our food. And we're just spinning around. That's about it. We're just spinning around in the sky. I'm spinning around. Dinner has arrived. Zucchini spiral. Doing the boat now. We have to go on Niagara itself. That's quite scary. And our time in Niagara is up. The Niagara boat tour and stuff and had some pizza and stuff and whatever else. But now me and Meals are getting an Uber back to Toronto. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. But we're getting an Uber back to Toronto to check into a, a Toronto hotel. And then we'll see what we get up to there. Okay, just ignore the mess, but here's a quick room tour of where we're sitting in Toronto. So, walk in. That's the bathroom at Meals. is currently in there. This is the mirror. This is me. That's a great mirror. And then... You have the bed, you've got this, you've got the telly, you've got this area, all of the stuff is everywhere already. Then, this is like a really famous Toronto tower. We're going up it in a few days. It's called the CN Tower, and that's a lake. This is our massive queen size bed. We left Niagara, we got an Uber here. We go to check in, and David, our <laughs> check in man, was like talking to us and whatever. First of all, he was like, You guys are English, right? And I was like, Yeah, and he was like, Yeah, you can't, he was like, You can't miss the accent. And I was like, Oh, hee hee, thank you. Yeah? <laughs> naturally the American accent doesn't fit because he was Indian um, and had an Indian accent but naturally the American accent came out there so hey here we are he knew we were English and then he asked if we were together and I was like no and Meals was like no god no way and he was like why no way and then Meals went because he's gay and I was like that's me and then he was like oh I knew you were my side of a rainbow but hey, I the soap smells amazing of what? It's probably aftershave. What? Maybe it's David. Oh wow, it does smell nice. David proceeds to tell me about his gay story and how he came out to his mom and he thought he was something wrong. So then he went to church to pray for forgiveness and so he was telling me his whole gay story. We were talking to this man for like 30 minutes and it was just chaos, but he was hilarious, one of the nicest man ever. He gave us a room upgrade. Yeah, and he told us to go and see him at seven o'clock when his shift finishes and he's gonna recommend us all the good places to go on a night out. We've been in Toronto about half an hour to an hour now, literally checked in about to get ready for a night out and stuff, and it's already started chaotically. But, I'm not mad about it. I'm not complaining. We have access to like a private bar, 
club lounge thing. So I'm going to show you, this is we've got breads, crackers, cheeses, no idea what that is or this, fruit, crudities, grilled pita bread, some hot bits, some like nuts, whatever, whatever, I don't know what anything is. Coffee station, Starbucks coffee. Morning after all, day out. After the doing properly, yeah. Chaos. I feel about as good as I look. <laughs> so bad. I am able to eat very well. And then I will update you kids. You crazy kids, but for now I need to choose what I'm having for food. Well, pectin's fruit. Oh, pectin's fruit. Where For meals, it is inside the hotel still. She's filming me a little bit hungover still. And I just thought, well, it's five to ten and I didn't really want to waste a day so I thought I'd come outside and I got myself a Starbucks. You know what, I'm not going to talk last night too much but I will say it is a Toronto night out goes off. It is very good. Uh, we ended up going to like some bars near us and they were a little bit quiet so we were going to the gay village because everyone recommended it. Everyone kept on recommending the gay village and how good it was. So we were like well we've got to try it and we did. Um, all I'm going to say is it was feral. It was crazy. It was a little wild night out and I thoroughly enjoyed it. To be honest, it was a really good night. So this is where I am and it's just insane. Like it's so New Yorkian, but like not. And it's just like skyscrapers and I don't know, it just, it just feels so fun and safe. Is that a skunk? Is it a skunk or is it a black squirrel? I'm not sure. Even though he's really cool. Look how cute he is. He's a big boy. Look at that. Hello. Hello. I think I want to move to Canada. I'm so honest right now. I think I want to live in Toronto. I think it's like one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. We're on a open top tour bus. We don't know where this is taking us. Where are we going? Hey guys, we've got 15 stops. Um, we're starting at number 10. I'm personally too hungover to get off the bus. <laughs> So I think oh, we're just gosh. gonna go the whole way round. We're just gonna go round. Also, I have a new Canadian boyfriend. It's called Sean. He, he was, he was really hot. Well, I got asked out on a date. I really want to go on a Toronto date. Yeah, yeah let's double, double date. date. I don't know what I was, but let's go on for top. I think we last spoke when I was on a tour bus on the on the half on half off bus. I need to stop doing the accent because I can't do it for one and two. It's just really annoying. Got off the tour bus, which was really cool. We actually saw like the whole city of Toronto, and just by sitting down, which was cool and it was fun. Then me and Meals came back to our hotel room and we just got in bed and watched quiz American quiz shows for like four hours. We're going to the richest neighborhood of Toronto. Um, why? Well, why not? Because it's fun. We've got a car sale, so we might as well go in it and be you it. Although, this is the first time Emil's have seen my car. So, I'm quite excited for that because, well, I've never been in a Canadian car before. Oh, and then we're going to go to a jazz bar. Me, Meals, Sarah and Bernie, Meals' parents, are going to a jazz bar, which will be fun. We're going to have some car sales and listen to some trumpets, I guess. I don't really know. It's a big car. I've never been in an American car before. Jeez. Outfit check. Shoes. New balance. Dress, skirt. Oh, it's also right. Well, okay. This car is pretty cool. For some reason, we're on a row each. I don't know why. I want to be in it. You want to be in it? Ah, my sunglasses. Why have you got sunglasses? Because it's night time. Because it finishes off the set. Oh, okay. I see this, girl.
Okay, I've just bought a house in Canada. House tour coming soon. I fucking wish. So we're in a jazz bar, but it very much looks like an English pub. Do you like jazz? You like jazz? I like jazz. Name that film. Well, yeah. I will. What is it? The big movie. Who says it? Why be We're at the harbor. We're on an island. Where are we, Mills? Island girl. I'm an island girl. I'm an island girl. You. Here you. <laughs> Which is a lot harder than I think it was. We're in the wilderness now. We've gone wrong. I feel like the wicked witch. I'm going to get Dorothy on my bike. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. In our jerseys. Whoa. We're having a baseball game. Blue Jays. So, Blue James game is done. Our first baseball game was really good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. We won. Ooh. We won. <laughs> we had no idea what was going on the whole time. It was actually really fun. And now we're heading to meet our new Brazilian friends. Tonight's our last night, so we're going to go out with a bang. Whoa! Night is still young, and so are we. One of our friends has put me on his close Instagram story. Stop! I love him. Jeez, it has been a feral night what time is it i think it's like i think it's like quarter to four in the morning i'm about to go to the lobby to pick up my dinner i'm just starving now oh my gosh i love toronto uh it's currently five past ten in the morning check out in 55 minutes and we're just trying to get our room together i say we i just mean meals it's just got her stuff everywhere uh, yeah uh, yeah Mm, yeah. Last night was our final night out. I tried to vlog, but then I forgot to vlog completely. I'll be honest. I tried to film with our Brazilian friends, but I, I was distracted. I was busy. It was feral. We went out on our last night with a bang, and I think that's all we'll say. But it was really, really good, and our Brazilian friends I love. Like, there were so many of them who I love. Great. I'm actually really going to miss them. Same. They were so nice. Our friends were so nice. They did. They looked after us really well. So obviously we made friends with loads of Brazilians and tonight, last night, was a lot more of that friendship group that were out and they were all so lovely. But Meals... There was one straight boy. There was one straight guy who... And he loved me. And him and Meals got on really well. But... <laughs> but they could only communicate through Google Translate. So we sat there talking but like typing on Google Translate and passing it back and forth. Oh, he was so No, he cute. was so sweet. He was really nice. He was so cute. Sammy's got my heart. See, Victor was adorable. We're coming to the end of our vlog. I'm a holiday. And that makes me really sad because I fucking love it here. The American movie theatre. Oh, Meals, is this still a thing? Because they've got posters for the final pitch perfect still out. Which I don't think is very current. Right now, Ten years ago today, you all protect us. Detonated it. I have no words. I'm currently home alone. It's 20 to 4 on Monday. And I've literally been editing this vlog since about 11 a.m. this morning. It's the first day I'm home and I just wanted to edit this vlog so I wanted to relive it all straight away. That was the best holiday of our lives. Like it literally was everything. 
like from from start to finish like the plane journey was amazing niagara was insane like, like see niagara falls is such a like breathtaking experience like it's so big it's so cool it's so powerful it's just huge and we were on it behind it wearing it like we were just all over niagara falls and it was insane like the actual place was amazing the people were cool the food i mean the only thing is for, for vegans for food options are nothing like the uk like nothing but we still managed to eat everywhere and stuff and the food was really tasty it's just nowhere near as many options or healthy options highly highly recommend if you and then toronto oh my gosh that city i am looking at moving to like i just want to live in toronto for a little bit of my life and well, it's just amazing. So the hotel we stayed in was insane. The staff were amazing. The people in Canada, I don't, I don't know if it's all of Canada, but the people we experienced in Toronto were beautiful. So kind, so funny, so genuine, so friendly. So just like, and I don't know if it's because we had a British accent. Everyone spoke to us and was so lovely. And we were like, oh my God, are you guys British? Like everywhere we went, everyone was just compliment, like talking to us. It was just amazing. Like it, the whole back-to-back -back experience was amazing. Like the CN Tower view, the baseball game, the, the Toronto Islands were surreal the best time of my entire life like our friends that we made oh my gosh i'm in love with like i absolutely adore them i'm highly in love with one of them i'm so upset to be back i can't explain how sad i am to be home i love you all very much and i will see you very soon with another video